Hello, my friend, and welcome to Wisdom Trek. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, your guide to wisdom and creating a living legacy. Thank you for joining us for our five-day-per-week wisdom and legacy-building podcast. Today is day 576 of our trek, and it is Wisdom Wednesday. Every Wednesday along Light's Trail, we will dig for the nuggets of wisdom that are found in the book of Proverbs. Today, we will explore Proverbs chapter 3 from the voice translation, which will give us a fresh perspective of this book of timeless wisdom. We are broadcasting from our studios at the Big House in Marietta, Ohio. In addition to our grandson Kip staying with us last week, we had the blessing of investing time with all of our grandkids over the weekend. Some of them stayed overnight on Friday, which is always a fun time. Although each one is different, each one of them is a precious jewel to us. In Proverbs, Solomon tells us that God's wisdom infused within us is like wearing fine jewelry. It is also described as being more valuable than gold or silver. So today in chapter 3 of Proverbs, we will explore how wisdom is more precious than jewels. In this chapter, we have two more speeches from the father to his son, with the poem about Lady Wisdom nestled in between. The first section is verses 1 through 12, and this speech is a classic that contains some familiar verses. The father leaves behind the earlier emphasis on outside evil forces and moves on to encourage the son to address his own character. Pay attention to the physicality of these words, and how often the Father uses you or your to highlight their personal work of faith and their rewards. Give God your best of what you make, and you will prosper to the fullest with plenty of food and drink. The last two verses of this section, which are verses 11 and 12, stand out because they don't focus on prizes for honoring God. Instead, the Father encouraged the Son to accept God's discipline. Don't lose heart when times are hard, he says, but rather trust that God corrects those he loves, like a father disciplining a son. In the second section of this chapter, verses 13 through 20, this is a beautiful poem about the value of wisdom personified once more as a woman. No gem is more precious, the author sighs. Nothing you desire can compare with her. The poet pays Lady Wisdom as a haven, a resting place, a force of peace, a powerful one. In fact, she is compared to the tree of life from Genesis chapter 2, verse 9, and in verses 19 and 20, We are told that God himself employed wisdom as he created the world. It was by wisdom that the eternal fashioned the earth. God's wisdom is a powerful force in this universe, and we have access to it. In the third section, which is the fourth speech from the father to his son, the chapter ends with another speech from the father. Emphasizing again the way of wisdom is the way of peace. When you are wise, you will sleep well, live without fear, and avoid the traps that other people easily fall into. The Father gives some practical relationship advice aimed at bringing peace. Give people what they are owed. Don't think of ways to harm people. Don't accuse people without evidence. And don't envy people who get things through violence. So listen now as I read Proverbs chapter 3. My son, always remember what I have taught you. Keep my instructions dear to your heart. If you do, they will guide you to a long, healthy, prosperous life. Stay focused. Do not lose sight of mercy and truth. Engrave them on a pennant and hang them around your neck. Meditate on them so they are written upon your heart. In this way you will win favor of God and others, and they will think well of you. Place your trust in the Eternal. Rely on Him completely. Never depend on your own ideas and inventions. Give Him credit for everything you accomplish, and He will smooth out and straighten the road that lies ahead. And don't think that you can decide in your own heart what is right and what is wrong. Respect the eternal. Turn and run from evil. If you depend on him, your body and mind will be free from the strain of a sinful life, will experience healing and health, and will be strengthened at their core. Pay tribute to the eternal in all of your affairs. Honor him with the best that you make. That way you will prosper to the fullest and have plenty of food to eat and wine to drink. My son, do not ignore the eternal's instructions or lose heart when he steps in to correct you. Because the Eternal proves His love by caring enough to discipline you, just as a father does his child, his pride and joy. How fortunate are those who discover Lady Wisdom and those who understand her ways. For her worth is greater than the most expensive prize you could win. Her profit is greater than the finest things that you could buy. No gem is more precious than she is. Your most extravagant desire doesn't come close to her. She holds the secret to long life in one hand, and riches and fame in her other hand. Her ways are pleasant, and all of her pathways are peaceful. She is like a tree that produced a satisfied life for anyone who can wrap their arms around her. 
Happiness waits for anyone who holds her tightly. It is by wisdom that the Eternal One fashioned the earth, and by understanding that He designed the heavens. Through His knowledge, the deep was divided into sea and sky, and the clouds understood when they let down the morning dew. My son, never lose sight of God's wisdom and knowledge. Make decisions out of true wisdom. Guard your good sense, and they will be a life to your soul, a fine jewelry around your neck. Then each one of your steps will land securely on life's journey, and you will not trip or fall. Your mind will be clear, free from fear. When you lie down to rest, you will be refreshed by sweet sleep. Stay calm. There is no need to be afraid of sudden disaster or to worry when calamity strikes the wicked. For the Eternal One will always be there to protect you. He will safeguard you with each and every step. Do not withhold what is good to those who deserve it. If it is within your power to give it, do it. Do not send your neighbor away, saying, Get back with me tomorrow. I will give it to you then, when what he needs is already in your hands. Make no plans that could result in the injury of your neighbor. After all, he should be more secure because he lives near you. Avoid fighting with anyone without good reason, especially when no one has hurt you. You have nothing to fight about. Do not envy someone who profits at the expense of others or copy any of his tyrannical ways. For the crooked people are detestable to the eternal, but those with integrity will receive his counsel. His curse lingers over the wicked and their families, but he forever favors residents of those who do what is right. God treats the arrogance as they treat others, mocking the mockers, scorning the scornful, but he pours out his grace on the humble. In the end, the wise will receive honor, but fools will face humiliation. That will conclude our exploration of Proverbs 3. Next week, we will continue on with chapter 4. And each week, we'll explore a full chapter in Proverbs. I hope that you'll join us each week so that you can gain wisdom, insight, and understanding for yourself. All the Proverbs do provide us with this rich wisdom, insight, and understanding on a myriad of life issues. Regardless of where you are in your faith walk, if the precepts and Proverbs are followed, your life will be rich and satisfying. I encourage you to take them and plant them like seeds of wisdom in your heart so that they will reap a harvest of wisdom throughout your life. Tomorrow we will hike another short trail in our Wisdom Unplugged series where we will discover an inspirational wisdom quote. So I encourage your friends and family to join us and come along with us tomorrow for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. That will finish our trek for today. If you'd like to listen to end the past daily treks or read the associated wisdom journal, they are available at wisdom-track.com. You can also subscribe on iTunes or Google Play, and each day's trek will be downloaded to you automatically. Thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I am your friend, as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal. And as we take this trek of life together, let us always live abundantly, love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, let to others generously, lead with integrity, and then leave a living legacy each day. I am Guthrie Chamberlain, reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and then create a great day every day. See you tomorrow.